relic from the 70s or the most dangerous fighter jet of our time? When the ultra-expensive and temperamental F-35 couldn't keep up with the volume and pace of real war, the Pentagon made an unexpected move. It brought the Cold War era F-15 back into service. But it didn't just bring it back. It reimagined it, reinforced it, and armed it to the teeth. Why did the US invest in an outdated fighter instead of doubling down on stealth? What can it do that fifth-generation stealth jets can't? And why does the F-15EX strike fear even in those who see it coming on the radar? It doesn't try to be pretty. It was built to be the first in, hit the hardest, and make it back alive. As old as time, designed in the 1970s, no stealth, no futuristic looks. Next to the F-35 or China's J-20, it's like old-school wrestling versus virtual reality. So why is the US bringing it back? Isn't there anything newer? The F-15EX is an upgrade of the legendary F-15 Eagle. On the outside, it looks familiar. Two engines, wide wings, a bulky frame. But under the skin, it's a whole different beast. It's a paradox. In the era of stealth and drones, the Pentagon is betting on a Generation 4 Plus fighter. Not just buying a few, but putting it into full-scale production. Why? Maybe because the F-15EX can do things even the F-35 can. Or maybe because on the battlefield, the winner isn't always the smartest, but the one who got there first, hit hardest, and made it back alive. Today, we'll take a closer look. Why is the F-15EX feared by its enemies? What sets it apart from the original Eagle? And how can this old-timer become the apex predator of 21st century skies? To understand what the F-15EX is today, we need to go back to its ancestor, the F-15 Eagle. In the early 1970s, faced with the post-Vietnam reality of air combat, the US realized it needed a fighter that would be the best in the sky. That's how the F-15 Eagle was born. Designed with the philosophy, not a pound for air to ground. It was built for air superiority, and it proved it. 104 air-to-air -air victories, zero losses in aerial combat. It dominated the skies over the Persian Gulf, won engagements in Arab-Israeli conflicts, and swept the skies clean in Operations Desert Storm and Iraqi Freedom. But that's not all. The F-15 was the world's first fighter with a thrust-to-weight ratio greater than one, meaning it could climb vertically like a rocket. Its AN-APG-63 radar was revolutionary at the time, able to track multiple targets at once. And its weapons, AIM-7 Sparrow and AIM-120 AMRAAM, made it a hunter that always struck first. There are many planes spoken of with respect in aviation history, but the F-15 is one of the few spoken of with reverence. This is a platform that has proven its effectiveness in real combat, a foundation you could build on, and that's exactly what the US is doing now. The United States officially began developing the F-15EX in the late 2010s as a response to the aging F-15CD fleet and the need to quickly reinforce the combat force without the complications tied to the F-35. The F-15EX isn't an attempt to revive an old plane. It's about using an incredibly strong foundation to build a new superweapon, backed by 50 years of experience. The F-15EX is a brand new jet built on a proven frame, like taking a knight's armor and installing an exoskeleton, a combat AI system, and a shield drone inside. It looks familiar, but fights like nothing else. On the outside, the same aggressive silhouette, twin engines, recognizable lines, but under the surface, state-of-the-art avionics, digital systems, and an open architecture that allows rapid tech integration. What exactly is new? The ANAPG-82 radar with AESA, an active electronically scanned array that can track dozens of targets at once with greater range, precision, and reliability. It's the same radar upgrade given to the B-52H. This isn't just a defensive tool, it's made for hunting. The cockpit is fully digital, not just glass, but integrated with combat AI, 
data sharing systems, and command networks. The plane processes information faster, helping the pilot make smarter decisions. The F-15EX also features a modern electronic warfare suite that can not only defend itself from enemy air defenses, but actively suppress them. Its open software architecture allows for plug-and-play expansion. New modules, weapons, AI systems, drone compatibility, all without redesigning the jet. That's one reason the US is betting on it. It's flexible, like a high-tech Lego set. There's also a dual crew version. One pilot flies, while the second crew member operates combat systems, EW, and drones. This isn't just a pilot with buttons, it's a true air commander. The F-15EX doesn't hide, it doesn't try to be invisible, it goes in head-on, because it can win that kind of fight. Its mission is to carry more weapons, farther, faster, and to do it again and again with minimal downtime. The airframe is rated for up to 20,000 flight hours, nearly double the service life of most modern fighters. That's why the Pentagon calls the F-15EX a weapons truck, a flying death wagon. It flies where others can't reach, and carries what others won't. In 2019, Boeing officially introduced the F-15EX as a distinct variant for the U.S. Air Force, and Congress approved the first budget for the procurement of eight F-15EX aircraft. In short, the F-15EX has five key advantages that make it a nightmare for the enemy. The combat load is an absolute record. The F-15EX is capable of carrying up to 13.6 tons of weapons. By comparison, the F-35 lifts about 8 tons, the F-22 even less. The F-15EX can take to the skies armed with 12 to 22 air-to-air -air missiles, or a mix of those and air-to-ground munitions, from precision-guided JDAMs to heavy AGM-128 JASSM cruise missiles. That effectively makes it a flying arsenal, capable of taking out targets in the air or on the ground, solo, without the need for escort. Range and duration of flight. When key theaters of war are thousands of kilometers away from the nearest airbase, like the Pacific or the Middle East, range matters. The F-15EX can fly over 1,800 kilometers without refueling, nearly double the range of the F-35. And with a tanker, it can loiter over the battlefield for hours. That means it can cover, support, and return, all without rotating out. Speed and performance. The maximum speed is Mach 2.5. It is the fastest combat fighter in the US Air Force today. The F-35 can't compare, and even the F-22 lags behind in terms of raw speed. Stealth is great, sure, but it's no good if you can't reach the fight. The F-15EX gets there first, unleashes its payload, and gets out while others are still scrambling to take off. Striking power from beyond enemy air defenses. The F-15EX is capable of staying out of range of enemy air defenses, remaining out of range but still striking. The AGM-158JASSM is a stealth cruise missile with a range of up to 1,000 kilometers. The F-15EX can carry and launch these missiles before the enemy even knows it's coming. Ease of maintenance and cost. The F-15EX is built on a proven platform that US forces and allies have maintained for decades. It's easier to service than the F-35, requires less pilot retraining, and uses parts that are already widely available. The price? About $80 million per unit. That's 20 to $30 million cheaper than the F-35, with far greater operational longevity. For the US Air Force, it's the perfect balance of cost and combat capability. This is the F-15EX. Not stealthy, not sleek, but if you're an enemy pilot or air defense operator, it's the last thing you want to see on your radar, because chances are, it's already launched its missiles at you. Now the big question. Why does the US need both the F-15EX and the F-35? Why invest in the old F-15 when an ultra-modern F-35 is already here? At first glance, it seems like buying tanks and cavalry at the same time, but that's only at first glance. The F-35 is a scalpel. The F-15EX is a hammer. 
The F-35 is a stealth fighter. It sneaks deep behind enemy lines, operates quietly and surgically, manages the battle space, and avoids direct confrontation. But it has limits. A small combat load in stealth mode, just two air-to-air -air missiles and two bombs, lower speed, shorter range, complex and costly maintenance, and long turnaround times between missions. The F-15EX is the opposite. It doesn't hide. It shows up with all the firepower you might need. It launches faster. It carries more. It hits from farther out. It's built for rapid escalation, and it's perfect for striking identified targets after the F-35 has scouted them. These two aircraft aren't competitors. They're partners. Here's what the future battlefield might look like. The F-35 is the first in the sky, detecting threats, acting as the eyes and ears of the operation. It sends data to the F-15EX, which then enters at high speed and delivers overwhelming firepower. The F-15EX can also command drones, coordinate fire missions, and strike from behind the horizon. In a high-intensity conflict, the F-15EX will fly more often and respond faster, bridging the gaps between F-35 sorties. The Pentagon is betting on a combination. Investing in the F-15EX isn't an admission that the F-35 has failed. It's a recognition of reality. Not every battle is a stealth mission. Sometimes, it's not about slipping in quietly. It's about showing up, hitting hard, and dominating. That's especially true in the Pacific Theater where range and payloads are critical. Or in Europe, where flanks need to be reinforced quickly. Or in full-scale wars, where the number of combat sorties and resistance to wear and tear become more important than camouflage technology. This division of roles is what a mature, next-gen approach to warfare looks like. The F-15EX is part of the United States' long-term strategy to strengthen its Air Force through the middle of the 21st century. And perhaps the most intriguing part is that this strategy isn't limited to America alone. The Pentagon has already ordered over 100 F-15EX jets and is considering expanding that number. These aircraft are replacing the aging F-15CD fleet, which has long surpassed its service life. But this isn't just about replacement. More likely, the F-15EX is being positioned as the core platform for rapid force deployment. A carrier of next-generation weapons, including hypersonic missiles, a testbed for AI, drone wingmen, and smart combat architecture. In essence, it's evolving into a universal battle commander, capable of managing airborne network-centric operations. The F-15 has always been a strong performer on the export market. It's operated by Israel, F-15I Ra'am, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, South Korea, Japan, and Singapore. Now, there's growing international interest in the F-15EX as well. Indonesia has already signed documents on its intention to purchase 24 such machines. Israel, despite its extensive use of the F-35, sees the EX as a powerful strike platform, especially for carrying nuclear payloads. India evaluated it as an option under its MRCA, Multi-Role Combat Aircraft, program. Saudi Arabia is actively pursuing talks to expand its existing fleet. If a high-intensity conflict breaks out in the coming years, whether in the Taiwan Strait or the Persian Gulf, aircraft like the F-15EX will take center stage. They deliver raw combat power where the F-35 may fall short due to logistical constraints. What comes next? Some analysts believe the F-15EX will be the last manned fourth-generation fighter ever produced in the United States. After this, only stealth drones, NGAD, and fully autonomous platforms. But the irony is that this last dinosaur may outlive them all because it's simple, effective, scalable, and truly terrifying on the battlefield. So who is the F-15EX really? A veteran pulled out of retirement? Or a next-gen predator dressed in old-school skin? All signs point to an unexpected comeback from a heavyweight many had already counted out. But this return is no accident. It's a response to a changed battlefield, and the Pentagon understands that. When you need to strike far and hard, it's ready. When you need to get fighters into the air fast and in large numbers, it delivers. When allies can't afford full stealth fleets, the F-15EX offers them a working, 
reliable alternative. And when the war drags on, its durability and maintainability beat out futuristic concepts. It's not sleek to those who are expecting drones and AI, but its power lies not in aesthetics, it lies in results. In an era where war is becoming digital and abstract, the F-15EX is a reminder. Sometimes, to win, you don't need to disappear. You need to show up, strike, and stay in the fight. So, is it outdated? No, it simply stopped pretending. The F-15EX isn't about the future. It's about winning today.